Hello, and many of us have come across the problem that when we move a Maya project uh, from one computer to another, or we receive a Maya project from someone, the links to the textures are broken. Now, there's plenty of resources online and video tutorials explaining why this is and how to avoid this problem. Um, some people understand that better than others, um, but it's a problem that still reoccurs in my experience. So, um, what I've done is create a very quick Python tool that kind of fixes the problem. So let's just understand the problem in a bit more detail. If I just select an object and just look at the material, so I'm going to go to the material attributes here, and I'm going to go, I'll just pick color, okay? And basically what's happening here is the person has linked to their local C drive, okay? Um, uh, they've um, so when they give the move the files to another computer or uh, give the move them on to someone else, give the files to someone else, um, the links no longer work, okay? And what they should be doing is they should be doing um, a, a local link, okay? So they should be linking to the root of the project, uh, not the root of their uh, drive. Uh, and we'll look at that in a bit. Uh, detail later but there's plenty of other tutorials that explain that concept so we have lots and lots of textures that need relinking and what we don't want to have to do is go into each of these textures and relink every single one okay so I've created a tool here um, and I'm just going to go uh, created a tool which you can access on GitHub. I'm going to put the, the link below. Okay, so this is the URL here and you can access this on GitHub and just, GitHub and just download it. Okay, and it's this file here, this .py file that you want here. Okay, so I've downloaded it here uh, and I'm just going to go and uh, unzip this. Okay, uh, sorry, sorry, I've already unzipped it. So I'm just going to go into the folder and I'm literally just going to go to Maya and all I need to do is sorry if I get this right just drag and drop this dot py, py file onto my scene anywhere on my scene okay in Maya and it comes up here and it just says right tell me where your textures are so um I so assuming that you've put all your textures into a single folder this can quickly fix your textures if you haven't got all your textures in a single folder this won't work um a way of quickly solving that is to put all your textures into a single folder um, uh, and then this will be able to do it. So this is assuming that all your textures are in a single folder. OK, so if I click set texture folder and what I'm going to do is navigate to where the textures are. So it was in the source images folder and it was in this textures folder here. So that, uh, so this person's actually put it in an extra subfolder below source images. I'm going to click on that. OK, and just go set folder. And if I click relink textures, what it will do, this script will just go through every single file node and basically repoint it to that folder. OK, and that just brings back all my textures for me. Now, if I go and look at my um, uh, folder now, um, you can see that we have fixed the problem. OK, and it has relinked the texture. But but actually, we haven't really solved the problem because we still got we're still referring to the root of my hard drive rather than the uh, project uh, uh, folder. Okay, so what we need to do is I want to link it to source images. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this bit here. Okay, and if I just relink with this, okay, all our textures should link. Okay, something's gone wrong. Well, what's actually gone wrong is Maya doesn't know that I'm actually looking at this project yet. So what I need to do before I do this process is actually go set project. So if I go into file, uh, set project, and I'm going to find the root folder for this Maya project. So I just need to go through my hard drive, which has got lots of, it's a rather deep structure. So I do apologize. Um, here we go. So it's this, so, so this is the Maya project here. OK, and um, the actual scenes are in here that we're looking at right now. OK, so this is the Maya project and I go set. OK, and then if I go relink textures again, you'll see that all my textures now work. And what you should find is that now this is linking to source images textures so now that would have solved the problem permanently if i move this to another computer okay because this is uh, as long as i move the whole project folder so with the scenes and the source images as well the whole uh, um, 
uh, the links to these textures should be maintained. So I'm sure you're looking at this and going, well, I, I want it. This is a great script. I want to be able to access this script all the time regularly. I don't have to have, have it somewhere else on my computer. So one of the things that we can do is if I just close this window, uh, what we can do is actually put this script onto our shelf here. So if I, you know, you should have by default a custom shelf. OK, so if you select the custom shelf and then what you want to do is go into Windows um, and I'm looking for general editors, script editor. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new Python tab. You won't have as many Python tabs as I have here. But I'm going to create a new Python tab. Uh, so I go click plus. We want Python. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this .py code, just drag it into this window here. And basically just put, this is the code. You can look through this in your own time and work out what I've done in the code. And in fact, I might even put a tutorial up explaining the code at some point. Um, but with this in here, what you can do now is go file, uh, save script to shelf, okay? And we can give it a name, so I'll call it a texture relink, okay? And just click okay. And what that will have done now is created this new icon in here, okay? Um, that if I click on that, it runs that script for me. So that's now permanently installed on uh, Maya. So I'll provide a link to that um, uh, uh, script uh, in the description. Okay, thank you.